Hey, this is Aaron Gulley. I'm the test director for Outside Magazine's annual bike test, and we're here in Tucson, Arizona, where we've had about a dozen testers testing 25 road bikes for the past week. We've been riding in East Saguaro National Park, where there's a great nine-mile closed circuit loop. We climbed up Mount Lemmon to a big 26-mile alpine climb, and we did a lot of gravel testing out on some dirt roads. After all was said and done, we settled on the Canyon CFSL Disc 8.0 as our road bike of the year. The Ultimate is a general all-around road race bike. It's basically the same bike that the Movistar team will be riding next year. Our bike was a full Shimano build. We had Dura shifters, a full group set of Ultegra Mechanical, uh, DT Swiss wheels, and then the carbon fiber seat posts and aluminum bars and stem that are proprietary to Canyon. Probably the most common comment that I heard during this test is how difficult it is to pick a good road bike these days because they're all so good. But the truth is everyone who took the Canyon out just loved this bike. It's a smooth bike. It's quite compliant for a race bike. The disc brakes add so much control. Basically a great general all around bike that's quick and snappy, but also quite comfortable to be on. What's unique about Canyon is they're selling only direct to consumer, which means they're selling only online. They don't sell in stores at all. What that means for you is you're getting a lot of cost savings. For a comparable bike from a major manufacturer, you'd be looking at probably 10 to 40% more, and you would be getting a bike that's probably one to two pounds heavier and probably a little bit less specs. I think when a new brand like this comes along, people sort of think, oh, you know, maybe they're not as good as the competition. But the truth is they're as good, if not better, than any major brand out there, and you're just saving some money on it. What the Canyon represents is maybe the first time we've seen prices uh, starting to go down on bikes, and that is something that I think everyone will appreciate.